Hi there. Ever since I did my video on how I built my P5 panel, I've had a bunch of questions about how I transport it, how I move it around, and you'll see down here at the bottom on both sides of me there's some wheels that I put on the bottom of my panel and I just pull it and roll it out there. So I thought I'd do a video to answer some of those questions. And so let's get down to some of the details. I'll break down the parts and pieces and uh, how I assembled it. So let's get started. All right, here are the components that I use to make an individual axle. Um, I get a, a wheel I buy from Harbor Freight. These are about uh, $6 a piece. Uh, the bearing uh, in the center here is 5 8 inch diameter. All right. Um, then we have a 5 8 inch steel rod. This is uh, cold rolled steel. The reason you want to get cold rolled is because its, uh, it's dimensions, its diameter is more precise and it's a lot closer to 5 8 inch so it will fit in the wheel nice and snug. And then I have here these collars that I purchased from Amazon and I'll flip it to the side. There's a couple Allen uh, screws there. And what you do is you slip that over the rod and that fits on the back side of the wheel. And then the other one fits on the front side of the wheel and it hooks it to the end. I'll show you one installed here in just a little bit. And right here is a piece of one by one angle. Um, this is hot rolled, so it uh, it's less expensive, but you see it's got the scale on it. Um, it's a little bit weaker, but for moving the panel, it's plenty strong. And so I buy these, I get these components, um, I cut the steel to length, I weld it, and then I use these collars to clamp the wheels in place. Here is the uh, rear axle. I've taken it off so we can get a closer look at it. Um, you can see the total length is 18 inches. It is... Uh, the one by angle is five inches in width. Just move that so you can see it. And I have two holes drilled through the one by angle. Uh, and that's where the bolts that bolt up into the bottom go. You will see I have these five eighths inch collars. So I need four of those. Two are set on the shaft on the inside where the wheel goes. And the other two go on the outside of the wheels. And so here are the wheels I purchased for these. So here's my front axle. It's constructed identically to the back axle. You see the one by again, that one of the differences is, is I have a hole in the center. I have two on the sides, but I can point it to pivot. So I put a hole in the center so it will steer. And you'll see the handle here, which is a separate piece. You will see some holes through the one by. This need to be very strong because all I do is pull it. Okay, that slides over the five eight inch rod. Um, you see the wheels here are installed on this one with the 5 8 inch collars on both sides to lock the wheel into position. And you'll see I have a, I did just a rough, rough and ready here. Uh, I have two pieces of angle. I just overlapped it and then did some welds there. They're, they're kind of a, they're kind of messy I know, but they're strong enough for this purpose. And let's go around here to this side. And you see the rod, I drilled the hole, and then I weld it into position. That's, again, I just use some of the same 5 8 inch rod. Got some of my tools on my workbench here. And put another piece at a 90, 90 degrees there and welded it on. And that ends up being my front axle that I pull like a wheelbarrow. So here is the location for the back axle on my P5 panel. You'll see one of the bolts that's sitting in place there. Um, so I simply just run the bolt through the holes you saw in the axle and bolt it into place. That big nut there is, is primarily a spacer. I'll try and show you here where this nut fits in here and just screw it into place. Just a nice T-nut the right size. Works out really well. So installing the wheels is really quite simple. I just slide it over the axle. Take one of these collars, and you can't see it on camera at the moment. Just slide over the collar, and you take an Allen wrench and lock it in position. The other side is identical. Slide it over, and then again, a collar in position, and then lock it down 
with the Allen wrench. So there's the wheel installed. Those collars locking in place quite nicely. The front axle is a little bit different and I have a bolt that's, that's um, put through the piece of wood on the bottom of the panel and a nut on a washer there locks it in the position. And then I have a separate nut that will uh, hook the uh, bottom axle through that center hole. So let's get that installed now. Put it through the center hole and take the nut. Just thread it on by hand to begin with. Then I get my socket and I tighten it down. So now that the wheels are connected to the P5 panel, I'll just show you how easy it is to move. Just grab it and roll it and you push it back and forth. You can maneuver it around and get it positioned where you need to in your uh, at your display. And then what I do here is I hoist it up of these eyes on the top. Hoist it up under the eaves in my house and it just hangs there. There's other ways to mount them as well. People put poles down the side um, and bury those poles in the ground. Uh, various methods, but for me, I hang it under eaves with a couple of chain hoists um, and pull it up into position. Well, I hope that this, uh, this video that uh, I prepared for you uh, answers some of those questions out there and how I prepared my transport system for my P5 panels and hope it'll help somebody come up uh, with solutions for their large P5 panels. So you guys have a great day uh, and I hope this helps somebody. All right, see you later.